welcome to a bass gallery channel stick the word sport on the end of a car name and you give people pretty big expectations for newcomer luxury brand genesis that suffix is being appended for the first time to its g80 sedan the package has all of the ingredients of its rivals bitter buckharged v6 adaptive suspension enlarged brakes racier design elements but while the Genesis team has cooked up a lovely sedan with the G80 Sport, it's not as enthralling to drive as its competition. Admittedly, Genesis does not intend for the 2018 G80 Sport to be a Nürburgring star in the vein of an M, R's, or AMG model. Instead the company is targeting the mild performance versions of other mid-size luxury sedans product planner Yuval Stemann, who previously worked at Lexus, specifically mentions the Lexus GSF Sport and BMW 5 Series M Sport as comparable vehicles. To begin that transformation, the G80 Sport wears a new front fascia with functional brake cooling ducts, a large grille with a cross-hatch mesh design, and 19-inch wheels with copper-accented center caps. Four exhaust tips surround a diffuser panel outback, the tail lights are tinted, and the exterior trim is all darkened. Interestingly, there are no sport badges anywhere on the car, the only giveaway being the subtle 3.3T engine marker on the trunk. In total, it's a pretty standard scheme for dressing up a normal car as a sportier version, and it works well here. The G80 has an aggressive look from every angle, with a style that's all its own rather than derivative of any rival. A bitter buckharged engine further separates the G80 Sport from its brethren, specifically a 3.3-liter V6 that is also available in the larger, heavier Genesis G90 luxury sedan. An 8-speed automatic is your only transmission choice, with both rear and all-wheel drive on offer. With 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque, the Sport outpowers the entry-level G80, 3.8-liter V6 with 311 HP and 293 lbft, but is still outgunned by the 5.0-liter V8 model, which packs 420 HP and 383 lbft. No Sport version of the V8 is planned, primarily because the Bitter Bo 6 is lighter than the 5.0-liter. Fortunately, the Sport has a smattering of other chassis upgrades to go along with its engine. Adaptive dampers come standard, though the suspension has not been lowered. The front brakes match those of the V8 model at 14.2 inches in diameter, albeit with upgraded brake pads, while the rear rotors are enlarged from 12.4 to 13.0 inches. There's also a higher capacity cooling fan for the turbo engine. Having only sold cars in the US since last fall, Genesis is still in the process of developing its dealer network. For now, the cars are available at existing Hyundai dealers, about 90% of them are set up to sell the G80, the car was already on sale nationwide as the Hyundai Genesis, though fewer than half currently offer the larger G90. Raphael says details about the launch of independent Genesis showrooms will be announced, sometime in the future. If you focus on the sport badge at the end of its model name, this car will be a little bit of a letdown. It's not as fluid or composed in back roads driving as its competition, nor is it especially exciting from behind the wheel. In every other sense, though, it's a very good sedan that shows a hugely promising direction for the fledgling Genesis brand. The G80 Sport is a great first salvo into the sportier side of the luxury car business, with energetic styling and a strong engine that will appeal to a lot of drivers, while still being comfortable enough to not dissuade luxury buyers. Couple that with the fact that the G80 Sport is more affordable than direct competitors, and Genesis has the beginnings of a winning formula on its hands. Invincible.